Good day Grade 11s, welcome to your next lesson on exponents and thirds. In this lesson we're going to be looking at the rational exponent and thirds and how the rational exponent relates to thirds. So let me just get my pen out. Okay, so a rational exponent is basically a rational number is one that we can write as a fraction. So a rational exponent is obviously an exponent can be written as a fraction. And the law is that a to the m of n is equal to the nth root of a to the m, where m is an element of natural numbers, n is an integer, and a is greater than naught. And obviously n has to be bigger than zero, otherwise you are dividing by a negative number. I mean, you're dividing by an imaginary number because anything divided by zero doesn't work. Okay, so let's look at a couple of examples. So the first example is x to the half, and we just want to transfer that. That's a rational exponent. We're going to change that into a third. So our rule is the thing at the bottom is the, the, the root. So in this case, it's the square root of x to the 1, which we're used to seeing as just the square root okay, of x. Right, let's look at another example. This time, we're changing a third into a rational exponent. Now, if you look at this, we were looking for the square root of a to the 4. Now, we know the square root of anything to the power of 4 is just that thing squared, but let us show how we can work that out using rational exponents. So, we can write that as a to the 4 over 2, but 4 divided by 2 is 2, so that becomes a to the 2. Right, let's look at another example. Now, one thing I want you to realize is that, do you realize that that there is, the 2 is the thing in front of the square root, I mean in front of the root, okay? So this I'm going to rewrite as a to the 12, b to the 3, c to the 8, all to the power of a quarter, because a quarter is the fourth root of this. And now we can just use our product rule for our exponents. We've got a, we multiply it, so we've got 12 over 4 times b to the 3 over 4 times c to the 8 over 4, and then we just simplify. So it's a to the 12 divided by 4 is just 3, b stays 3 over 4, and c becomes c squared. See, it's not actually that difficult. Let's look at another example. This is 4x to the a to the power of half. So I'm going to write this over here because I've obviously gone over my space. So it's 4x to the 8 all to the power of a half. Now we could either go and square root this or we could work out what this means. That is 4 to the half times by x to the 8 all to the half. The 4 to the half is the same as saying 2 squared to the a half, and what do you do in here? You cross, when you're crossing across the brackets, what do you do? You multiply, so it becomes x to the 8 over 2. So this becomes 2 to the, 2 times a half is 1, so it's just 2, and then that becomes x to the 4. Okay, so that's not too tricky here. Right, grade 11s, that's just showing you how the rational exponent leads to a third and how you can convert thirds to rational exponents in the other way. Please make sure you understand how to do this because we're going to use it a lot as we carry on with thirds in the next couple of presentations. Have a lovely day.